think it's interesting, like SpaceX is kind of in like a league of their own right now. And I wonder what do you think, like in terms of competition, like is it going to pick up at some point once this proves to be viable? Like, Yeah, I think there are, I, it's hard for me to imagine a private competitor coming out um, with a like super heavy lift capacity right. that directly competes with Starship. We have companies like Rocket Lab and United Launch Alliance that are doing smaller smaller satellites delivering you know payloads to orbit. Um, and I think that's going to be like a very important part of the ecosystem. But the um, sort of the commercial space industry commentators that I follow um, have been sp- talking about this in light of the, the Starship um, test. And have said that SpaceX seems to be, you know, they basically said like 10 years ago, they were a decade ahead of everyone else. It seems like they're, yeah. they're a little, they're still a decade Just ahead of everyone else. The gap maybe is increasing, if anything. It yeah. could be increasing, if anything. Um, and so it's kind of like a new, new space race. Which is a big part of the excitement around Starship, I think, is the Starship is going to be heavily involved, like you said, in Artemis 3, and then like getting America to the moon by the timeline that like acting NASA administrator Sean Duffy has outlined, like before China, hopefully, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, so more to come. I think um, Starship, it's, it's a revolutionary American manufacturing story. Um, and I think there are many more chapters of this story to play out.